What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. It's crack a folks. You know who this is. Mr. Warmack, and I'm like, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant Americans, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. And what I'm here to talk about today is how much longer, how many more marches and how many more, you know, visuals and all the bullshit that we do as black folks are we going to finally get rid of and start working about problems. My problem is every time there's a tragedy in the black community, everybody wants to go first, they want to get that Jesus hook up or they want to do something like you know oh well we need to have a rally we need to do this we need to do that and like at the end of the day what did y'all do you're just stunting as the young kids would say because what, what do these rallies have to do what are these rallies doing what are these vigils doing they're not doing nothing you gotta take a hands on approach and actually get out there and do something I don't know how many times I've heard we gotta stop all this black on black violence we go, okay, you're praying, and that's good. I don't, I don't, I'm not smirching praying. But at the same time, what are you actually physically doing? You're not out there. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Because I'm getting tired of seeing all this shit. Cause, and let me tell you something. I'm out here. People know, people who know, know me. Like, everywhere I've been, I went straight to the fucking worst area and hung out. Because that's how I do. But the fact of the matter remains is, I'm tired of hearing all this. It's like, oh, will, will you show overcome? You, you want to hear all these Al Sharptons, all these Jesse Jacksons with their little little speeches and like this, you know. Come on, man. Jesse Jackson is using the same excuse he used for years. He goes, if you can, if you can, if what's what's this famous saying? If you can, uh. If you can conceive, you can achieve. It's more like, if you want me to holler, give me a dollar. You know, but I'm just, it's just, for me, it's really dis disgusting. That's the only, that's the word I just came to the top of my head. It is because there's people out here who are really trying to make a difference. But a lot of you guys are holding us back out the sake of your publicity. Now, let me tell you something. When I was hooking dudes up, I was hooking dudes up out of the joint. And these dudes out of the joint, they weren't, I wasn't just hooking dudes up for no, you know, no petty shit. These dudes were like coming out with bodies, and literally. But like I, like I said on a previous video, these same guys who had all these bodies and like were some quote unquote demeanors, they were the hardest workers. At the same time, it's just get like I said, it's maybe talking to a kid. Maybe talking is like I talk to grown adults, and everybody looks at me like, like, where are you getting this from? And all I hear is, well, you can't save everybody. I'm not trying to save everybody, but if I, if something I say or something I'm doing to help you can get you to help somebody else, I've done my job. Well, I really haven't done my job until I'm laid down in the ground, but I'm using that as a quote because it sounds good. But uh, more and more, I'm just, I'm just tired of seeing people, you know, talk about it. Like, we, we can have all these meetings, we can have all these summits, we can have all this, this, that, and the third. But you gotta actually get out there and you gotta get on your grind. And nobody wants to be on that grind. You wanna, you wanna know why? Nobody wants to get out in the real. That means you gotta touch hands with the folks that are doing stuff. And I'm on a daily basis touching hands with the people. You wanna know why? Because I am the people. I'm out, I'm out here in the field. I, when I tell you it's real in the field, because it's real in the field. I have I have a video. Look through my low rent entertainment channel. I have a video. I'm a, I might look it up. Uh, I'm lazy. You guys are gonna look it up. I have a video where it's the aftermath of a shooting. And it was in my neighborhood. It was in my hood, as they say. It was the aftermath of a shooting. Well, it was at a, there was a little spot, which is kind of nice. It, just, it was a gathering. And the next thing you know, I think people got out of hand. One thing led to another, and like I said, I heard heard something that sounded like firecrackers. Automatically, I knew what time it was. 
And I just, the aftermath, to me, I was just like, why? So I went and I talked to people, this, that, and the third. I get my little, I get my little scoops and my little information. You know how I do. But uh, anymore, I don't listen to half you cats on YouTube talking about it because you talking about like like there's cats on YouTube talking about black unity, but at the same time, to have black unity, you gotta stop all this dumb shit going out in the streets. And a lot of you guys, I know a lot of you guys ain't willing to go out in the streets. I know that for a fact. Cause like I said, there's a couple people on YouTube that threatened me, like literally threatened me. Like, and I'm gonna give you some insight. I told these dudes why well, we don't go to the cops where I'm where I'm made of, and the people I'm made of with, we don't go to the cops. I said, if you got a fucking problem and you see me, then it, then when you see me, you react on that, and I'm gonna defend myself like a man. I and then all of a sudden the guy got all this set in the third. I, Cause I told the guy. If I see you in real life, you're going to get held accountable for the words you're saying. So I'll be all the bitches. I'll be all this and that. I'll be the, you'll cut my head off and put it on a spike in the hood. I'll be all that. But when the day you see me, you better have your hand extended out as, as a sign of shaking or something or as a sign of peace. I said, other than that, you're going to get dealt with. And that's how we roll. Who I, I just learned that from the older dudes I hung with. But like I said, you hear of all these black people on YouTube, all these fucking self-conscious, self-righteous, all these I know more than you about the black histories. You can know more than me. I don't give a fuck. What are you actually, are you actually in the streets? My answer is you're not in the streets because I'm in the streets and I don't see none of y'all. So if you want if you want black unity, you need to start start with this black on black crime problem. And I know, I know a lot of you guys are going to start whining. Well, what about the white man? Hey, look, you think he gives a fuck about you? What? The, let, let's be honest. If he's making fucking millions and billions of dollars, you think he gives a fuck about some motherfucker Section 8 in the project type shit? Fuck out of here. That's your problem. The problem is, you don't worry. When you have, it's like it's like a running back. You guys get love getting stripped with of the ball. Keep your eyes on the ball. Keep your hands on the ball, and you'll go somewhere. But you guys are fumbling ass niggas, man, for real. And I hate to use that word, but I'm just getting pissed off because I see all you guys talking. But at the end of the day, you just talk. I don't see no videos of you out in the streets. I don't see no videos of you talking to somebody trying to make a difference. The people that do do that, I have to respect that because they're doing it. But I don't respect you guys a lot of you because you guys aren't doing it. And like, there's a couple of people, well, I've met so and so off of YouTube. I don't give a fuck. You meet Jesus off YouTube. What are you doing? That, or are you talking to kids? I don't, where's your videos where you're talking to kids? Where's your videos where you're talking to other people about prospering the community? I don't give a fuck about you fucking falling in love on YouTube. Get out there in the streets and actually do something. Until then, you just talk to me. Well, I gotta go. I got shit to do, people to see. And as always, I've been in the building. Later, people. <laughs>